Hello, my name is Jana Bambico. I'm an economics teacher here at McKinney Boyd High School. I teach both regular economics courses and the AP Macroeconomics. Today I want to give you a little bit of information about the AP Macroeconomics course. Uh, when you take the AP Macroeconomics course, it is specifically a macroeconomics focus. So we'll be focusing on the, the whole picture, the, the overall economy. Uh, in contrast with the regular econ course, the regular econ course covers some micro units and also some macro units. The regular course is going to be pretty much just an introductory course to get you ready to pre have a, a, a good foundation for moving into a college level course. If you are ready to take on the, um, the challenge of an AP course, um, I would suggest the AP Macroeconomics. As I said, it's going to be a, a different focus. We will focus just primarily on the overall economy. We will be looking at things such as um, GDP, uh, inflation, rates. We'll be also looking at um, the money, uh, the money market, and how the supply of money affects the overall economy. Uh, we also look at um, <clears throat> international influences on our economy. We'll look at the balance of trade payments, and also um, we will see the effects of foreign exchange on uh, the values of currency. So it is very much a different focus than the uh, regular class. Um, with the AP Economics, you have the opportunity to take the uh, AP exam and earn uh, college credit, of course. And uh, don't forget, taking an AP course is a great way to boost your GPA if you are, um, you know, looking to in, in improve your GPA or uh, maintain a certain class rank. So um, I hope you'll choose to take AP Economics, but uh, whichever one you choose, we're gonna uh, we're gonna teach you lots of great things and and prepare you for the next step in your life. Thank you.